and then it just very securely hooks to the frame of the car and then you just put that seal mash it right back onto the frame okay so today we're going to be doing a review on my kingbird 20 cubic foot cargo carrier for my car you can use this on an suv or even on top of a truck if you have an extended cab we're going to take it out of the package you're going to look at it and i'm even going to show you how i install it so let's go okay so the carrier that it comes with is about 17 inches about 17 inches is pretty much square and it is about eight inches tall so very compact you can store it almost anywhere when you're not using it let's take it out and look at it okay it comes with your instruction manual and your straps and it even comes with a little cargo lock if you want to lock the carrier so here's what each individual strap looks like. You'll get 10 of these, but generally I find that's more than what you need. It's made out of very tough material and it's made to cut down on wind noise when you're going down the road. Here's a little closer view of the lock. Just a, com just a simple combination lock that you can put on the zippers so it can't be unzipped. Tells you on the back how to use it. Essentially, you can just set your own combination for this lock. Pretty neat. Okay, also it comes with six hooks, and I'll show you how to hook these up on your car. It's very simple. It's just a metal hook on one end and a fabric strap on the other. It's just a loop. These are what those straps are going to hook to that I just showed you once you install this on your car. Okay, and now we actually come to the carrier itself. So let's pull this out. We're going to unfold it, and we're going to measure it real quick. I'm going to show you what it's made of. Okay, so essentially what you're looking at right now is the top of the carrier. It's made out of very thick waterproof PVC material. This is the side, this is actually the back, and this is the front. Okay, now you're actually looking at the bottom of the carrier, and I'll go ahead and tell you one of the things I love about this carrier is the fact that it has built-in non-slip pads, three of them. So you do not have to have a separate mat to put under this carrier like you do with other ones. It's designed to help stick to the car, and it's not going to move around. Okay, let's take a few measurements. It's about 47 inches long, right at about 34 inches wide. And as far as how tall it is, it's going to be about 18 to 19 inches tall. Now just to note, it could be taller in the center once you get things all packed. Because the more you pack in there, the more it's going to stand up tall. But that's one benefit about this carrier. You can pack it as tight as you want to. Or if you don't pack it quite as tight, you can ratchet it down and make it smaller. Okay, now before we take it outside, I want to show you the Velcro and the zipper. We have nice three inch flaps that hold this over the zipper to keep water from even hitting the zipper. That's another thing I love about it is that it's really designed to keep water even away from this waterproof zipper. And here's the zipper. If water does get down to the zipper, it's completely coated so water won't get through. It is a very big and thick heavy duty zipper that zips all the way around. And then once you have all your cargo in, you zip it up tight. And this is where you can put your lock if you want to. And then you simply put your flap right over your zipper. So ideally, rain won't even hit that zipper. All right, now let's take this outside. I'm going to show you how I install this on my car. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I hook this up on my Honda Civic. Very compact car, just to show you that you can even install this on a small car. Okay, as you can see, I just got it sitting on top for right now. Now I'm going to show you how to hook up one or two of these straps just to show you the concept, show you how easy it is. Okay, we're going to start on my front door. Okay, so first you're going to take one of these six straps that's included in the kit. And since I do not have a roof rack or cargo rack on this car at all, this is just a bare roof. I'm going to have to use these, which is no problem. I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to have to peel back your seal that goes around the inner part of your door. Best to start in a corner. Just pull it down. Very simple. And start working it around to where you want to put your hook. You're going to want to put the frontmost hook closer to the front. And then it just very securely hooks to the frame of the car. And then you just put that seal, mash it right back onto the frame. And then just work it back around. And here's a hint for you. If you have trouble peeling that seal back, what you can do is you can get something wooden or plastic. I find that a tongue depressor or even a sturdy popsicle stick wedged in there and twisted will pop that seal right down. You don't want to use anything metal because you might scar your paint. And then just to show you that, the door shuts just fine with that strap there. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing to the back door. And you're just going to start back here, same deal. Find you a corner of this seal, and you're just going to gradually peel it back. Mine comes right off. Now you're going to take another one of your six hooks, and you're going to hook it 
right there towards the back. Put your seal back on. And shut the door. And now I put these straps right here for a reason. You're going to want to line it up with where the strap is going to hook to the top of the carrier. Same thing on the front. You're going to want this strap lined up roughly with where the strap is going to hook to the top of the carrier. Now what I would do if I were you, if you're going a long distance, is I would actually put your another hook, just like I put in the back and in the front. I put another one right here in the center, same process. You have six of them, so you can use three on each side. And now here's another tip for you. Once you get your hooks installed, one in the front, one in the back, and your center one if you're going to use it, I will go ahead and load your cargo in the carrier before you go any further. That way, if you need to move your carrier around, either front to back or side to side, you can do it pretty easily and it's not strapped down yet. So I've unzipped it. Let's just put a couple things in there so you can see how tall it'll get once you load it up. Okay, that should give us a fair amount to work with. Of course, you can load a whole lot more in there than that. I've just picked a few boxes up, put a box fan in there, and there's just so much more stuff you can put in there. I would estimate that's probably only about 25% full, to be honest with you. So let's close it up. And now once you get your zipper worked all the way around, then your flap just folds over and hooks with the Velcro. See, the thing I like about this is your load doesn't have to be perfectly even. It could be lumpy in one area, it could be flat in another, because what you're going to do is you're going to take those straps and we're going to set you down. Okay, so we're just going to work with the front of the car right this minute. What you'll do is you'll take one of your 10 straps, you're going to put it through the hook that you installed. You're going to come up and you're going to clip it to the top simple as that. Then you're going to take the other side, put it through your metal ring, come back down, and then this is where you can adjust it. Bring this down through your adjusting hook, and that's all it is to it. You have two adjustment points. You have one on this side, and you have one on the back. So then it's just as simple as repeating that for as many points as you want to anchor it down to the car. And on my particular case, I'm gonna use one in the front, one in the back, and then the same thing on the passenger side of the car. If you're going a long distance or you got an extra heavy load, put that one in the center, okay? Now, here's a question that you might be wondering. Why do you have 10 of these straps right here instead of only six? Well, you have a place in the front where you can hook another one and anchor it to the front of the car around the bumper if you really need to but I find that excessive. I've never used it. I only use maximum six, but in this case, I'm only gonna use four. One in the front, one in the back, same thing on the other side of the car. So let's hook the back one up so you'll see. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the back, same process as the front. You're gonna run this strap through the loop that you installed. Clip it in, run this through the metal loop, come back through your adjustment piece, and then just cinch it down. And that's pretty much as simple as that. So as you can see, it's pretty much expanded all the way to the top, except for you could probably go another three, four inches. And then if you wanted to put stuff in the center, of course it may bubble in the center, but that's when you're gonna go through and you're gonna adjust these straps as needed. So I hope this has helped you make your purchasing decision. I've been satisfied with this carrier. I love it. You can pack so much into it. This is actually my second carrier that I've purchased before. I've been so happy with it, I have gotten a second one. So that might let you know how satisfied I am with it. And it looks a little lumpy right now, but that's okay because I've got a mismatched load in it. And I've only showed you how to hook up the driver's side. Passenger side is the same way, but you can use this on a small car. You can use it on an SUV. You can use it on a car with roof racks, roof rails or with no rails at all like this one here. I've been super satisfied with it. I hope that helps you make your purchasing decision a little bit easier. And thanks for watching.